Also, it's a rainy day. So I'm not even about to fight these demons trying to make me feel bad for being a lazy hoe because it's literally porn outside, babes. I can't be out in these streets. <laughs> been trying to get out of bed for like 30 minutes and I just don't want to get out of the covers ah! but I'm gonna use you guys as my motivation and all the things that I should probably get done today I just want to know when does it stop when does it stop <laughs> like I just wasn't prepared for my 30s to be a never ending to-do list also i feel like i need to get this checked out in the mornings i wake up with all this puff in my left eye and then it goes away but like ooh, that's a little big any doctors watching Do doctors watch youtube <laughs> to get ready and I'm getting ready to head out um, I'm actually gonna go try out some mattresses because I have one of those mattresses that came in a box it's worked great for me for the last few years but it is on the softer side and I have realized I much prefer a firmer mattress just from when I'm like at friends' houses, at home, or traveling. I sleep so much better on a firmer mattress. And I don't know if that has to do with getting older, but it's just way more comfortable. Invited by a company called Hastings to go check out their mattress shop. And yeah, I'm really excited because it's in a fun area that I haven't been to um, in like two years. So we're gonna go do that. Before I go, I want to say a major key alert. Something that is like so small, but like just adds a little extra delight to my day because that's what, you know, life is about. Finding what things you can add in or take away to make this time on earth a little bit more enjoyable with all the chaos happening around us, you know, all of that stuff. So something super small that's like not even a big deal is just, getting fun socks like i don't know what was up with me in the past but i just did not care about something like socks and now fun socks and fun hats just add a little extra sparkle to my day okay i'm running out of time i think i'm gonna try and make myself a little matcha to go so i can save money and not spend out and maybe some toast Slippers I get to put on because they're a Swedish company and you don't wear shoes in Sweden. So I get to wear these nice slippers. That was some of the most amazing <laughs> mattress laying I have ever done. Um, you can definitely tell the quality of their mattresses. They're all handmade. The only thing is that their cheapest mattress, their best price point was $24,000. And then they went all the way up to $300,000, which I never knew mattresses could even come close to costing that much. This has been
been driving me crazy for weeks, actually months, and I wanna do something about it today. Also when I get some art hung on the walls. And no, I do not shop at Air One. Yesterday, when I was at that expensive mattress store, it was next to an Air One and I got some spring mix and some cupcakes. I am about to upload a video to YouTube and it's a Tuesday, which I know you're like supposed to upload on the same day, same time, but I just, I cannot lock myself into boxes that man has made. <laughs> That's terrible to say. But yeah, like, you know, whoever sees it is going to see it. That's who it was for. It's, it's just not that big of a deal. Once I've procrastinated too much and like I can't anymore and I have to just like get the work done. If there's a way I can get the work done without it feeling like I'm doing work, I'm going to find it. And today that means doing work from the floor, just like this. Also, it's a rainy day, so I'm not even about to fight these demons trying to make me feel bad for being a lazy hoe because it's literally pouring outside, babes. I can't be out in these streets. I don't know. I'm not feeling like depressy at all. Like I've actually been in good spirits lately, but I'm just like, Tired. Maybe it's the weather or maybe it's just like my body's finally feeling like it can unwind after like months of a bit of chaos. I mean, the year did start off with a bang with like my grandma passing and then like all of that family stuff that came with that. And then moving into a new apartment and then like Jake and I were going through a really, we were going through a rough patch in our relationship. And then I was having like, I don't know, a lot of like really heavy, dark moments. So, and now I'm on the other side of a lot of that. Like, not that everything's all fixed, healed and done, but like mentally I'm in a better place when it comes to just like hard life things right now. But I feel like, I'm so tired and I usually have like a lot of energy. So, I mean, at least 2019 and before me. <laughs> but anyway, I am used to having a lot of energy, but I'm just like really tired. Is it because I started drinking coffee? Did that F my ish up? I also watched TikTok for like four hours straight yesterday because I hadn't watched it in like weeks and I really wanted to just see what's going on on the internet. So that may have something to do with my exhaustion or it could be because I slept on the floor. Honestly, what's the point of even analyzing? Because I'm not gonna get to the bottom of this. I'm not a scientist. How are y'all? I'm calling from rainy, rainy Los Angeles. Really? Yes. Unusual to hear. <laughs> Say hi to Mata. <laughs> How are you today, darling? I woke up with a migraine, so not great, but we're here. Do not enjoy making my bed at all, but oftentimes I'm avoiding things that I should be getting done. And when I make my bed, it makes me feel like I at least did something. I know someone watching this takes forever to empty out their vacuum. This is your reminder to empty out your vacuum. You, you lazy whore.
me know if you guys knew this. It's new information to me, but hopefully it could help someone out. Apparently with ranunculus, this type of flower right here, ranunculus, you're only supposed to put about three inches of water into the vase because they're actually hollow on the inside, they're stems, and so they drink much more water and that was overconsumption for them. Wow, the more you know. doesn't look that chaotic to some people, but for me personally, this is a lot. I have had, since I moved into this apartment in January, I've had this bookshelf here, knowing that I want to gift the bookshelf to someone else um, because it's a little too heavy for this space, but it's worked as a storage option for me right now, just for like random decor pieces. I'm ready to make this space more open and get it ready for when I figure out what I wanna do in this corner. But I can't figure that out when I just have so much clutter. They're stupid, they're stupid. I don't know, anyway, I think I'm really hungry too. I'm thinking I'm hangry right now. So I'm gonna end this and go eat something, <laughs> maybe drink some water. Anyway, um, sorry about this, but I hope it doesn't disturb your day. Comment down below if you and your bestie are always sending each other voice memos all day. It's just so nice being able to walkie-talkie your little bestie and let out all of the things that are plaguing your mind or anything funny from the day. I don't know who this is for, but I know that if I'm feeling this way and if Shelby's feeling this way, then someone watching this, someone else is also feeling this way. And I think it's worth it to share things sometimes for the sake of the one person who might encounter it. And it might be helpful or useful for them. Or maybe it's not something that's helpful to you at this time, but will be in the future or for someone you care about. What I wanted to share is for anyone who's watching this who is a bit hypersensitive or overly, or just not, not even overly, just regularly sensitive to just awful things that are happening in the world that you can't control and that are not gonna be fixed immediately or anything. Please, 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 for your sanity's sake, for the quality of your life's sake, please take extensive breaks from online and practice reminding yourself that you do not have to feel guilty or ashamed that you have to take those breaks because you know seeing all of these horrors in the world around us and becoming more aware of them as we get older and having access to endless constant updates of more and more horrors that are happening everywhere one that's just not natural for the human experience to involve that many updates and that much information. You know, technology has evolved really fast, but the human brain is not on that level. We're not robots, okay? What I'm realizing recently is that if I do not step away from the constant updates, if I do not allow myself to live in oblivion for a little while, I am not gonna be able to live the life that I want to live. In fact, I don't know if I'm gonna be here to live the life and you know, to be there for the people I love and to enjoy those in-between moments. Because like, if we're honest, life has so much suffering in it, so much suffering. And then to learn that there's just like mindless suffering outside of just the natural human experience experiences, there's also people just intentionally making decisions that are harmful to so many people. And it's, it's outraging. 
or is it enraging? I don't know, but the rage is within. <laughs> so I think it's enraging and it's exhausting and it's heavy and we're expected to just, I mean, we have no choice, we all have bills to pay. So you just get back on the horse, but it's like, oh my gosh, this is a lot. All that to say, there are still in the midst of all of sad realities there's still life to be lived and there are still beautiful moments to experience and just wonderful memories to make with the people we care about. Um, and also there are interests and passions and desires that you deserve to explore. And that is why I personally am really f wanting to figure out like the most ideal way that I want to live in the next season of my life in order to protect my sanity. What I was trying to encourage you to do is just to take that time away and to allow yourself to be guilt free because you did not create this harmful system that so many of us live in. But there will be opportunities to participate in helping society progress forward. But you're not going to be able to do any of those things if you don't take care of yourself. And um, that includes taking time away from the overconsumption. Yeah, I've really liked my um, days of being in oblivion. But what happened was I got on TikTok for the first time in a while and yesterday and I was on there for a long time because I hadn't been on it in weeks, maybe like over a month or something. And oh my gosh, there was just so much that I had missed and all these like honestly terrifying bills are getting pushed in a lot of Southern states. And there's so many other things happening and it's just very disturbing and not even in our own country, outside of our country. And it's just like, oh my gosh. And then when you start learning about history, which is, has been what I've been doing, learning a lot about world history lately, it's like, well, wait a minute now. Millennia after millennia, there have been men gathering in spaces, coming up with ideas in ways to control people. Not all men, but enough of them. And they just, it's like over and over and over again. It's, it's the same thing. And yeah, there are revolutions and there is progress, but it just seems like our country is still so new compared to the other wealthy nations who have made steady progress in what they offer to their citizens. We just seem so behind that it does feel a bit like, wow, we've got a long ways to go. Ugh. And it's not as simple as us like just getting in the streets like they're doing in Paris, like their police officers aren't out here straight up killing people. Like our police officers are straight up a military militia. Like people can't really afford to just be out here like that. <laughs> what is the YouTube and what is life? <laughs> I'm supposed to be breaking down in boxes. And I'm in here talking to y'all like, like, like we in therapy or like we just had a glass of wine. these fuzzies on it and go ahead and move this into there because I want this to be open so badly. Ugh, please do not tip over on me. Oh, tired. Oh no, it's too tall. I can't lean it by myself. Put it on a blanket, I can just slide it. I'm gonna do that. This was stupid. 
I think this was stupid. It's so heavy. Oh my gosh. Why is it so heavy? Oh. What? Oh my gosh. Uh. She's in. Now we just gotta somehow stand her up. Oh, this is the bottom? No. Oh. Oh. I did it. I'm glad I'm okay. Because I do not have good health insurance. To be risking it all like that. Can't believe I just did that.